This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. 15 things you didn't know about Santorini. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello Aluxers, and welcome to another original video brought to you by Alux.com. In this video, we're going to discover the 15 things you didn't know about Santorini. White sand beaches, red sand beaches, pristine blue waters, sunsets that look like something out of a fairy tale. What do all of these things have in common? These are all things that can be found on the Greek island of Santorini. Santorini isn't just a single island, but an archipelago or a cluster of islands. It's believed in some myths that the island of Santorini was associated with the legendary Atlantis. This history of Santorini is rich and full of exciting myths, legends, and folklore. After the great earthquake of 1956, Santorini fell into an economic crisis, forcing many of its inhabitants to abandon the island. It did, however, begin its long road to recovery in 1970, and tourists began to flock back to the island. Now it remains as one of the top destinations in the world. Santorini is rich with heritage, history, architecture, and culture. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, let's dive into these Mediterranean waters and find out the 15 things you didn't know about Santorini. Number 1. Santorini had an explosive beginning. There are thousands of Greek islands, but there are very few that are as popular as Santorini, Greece. While it's known by most as Santorini, it has had several names in the past. Its official name is Thera, and it's a part of a cluster of over eight islands. It rests just 120 miles southeast of mainland Greece, and it's the largest island in the archipelago. Fira is the capital of Santorini and the main city of the island. The island sits in a water-filled caldera formed by a violent volcanic blast in 1500 BC. Calderas are giant craters formed when volcanoes erupt. The blast was so violent it was believed that it was responsible for the collapse of the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, 68 miles south, sending a devastating tsunami crashing down on the island. After the eruption, the center of Santorini collapsed, and it's believed this is where the first mention of Atlantis originated. Three sides of the island are surrounded by massive 980-foot-high cliffs. On the fourth side, a lagoon separates Santorini from its sister island, Thuracia. Number 2. Santorini is a booming tourist location with the economic crisis touching many parts of the world, Santorini hasn't gone unscathed by the fall of the economy. In 1956, many of the island's inhabitants were forced to leave because of the catastrophic earthquake. However, thanks to the steady trickle of tourists in the 1970s, the island slowly began to come back to life. Then in 2015, the Grecian economy took another hard hit, leaving the country in dire straits. As a result, the cost of traveling to Greece dropped significantly, causing the economy to slowly come back to life. Because of the influx of tourism, the island of Santorini strives to use as many natural resources as possible, from saving rainwater to feed their gardens and fill their pools, to passive solar systems to heat their homes in the colder months. With these progressive ways of enjoying such a beautiful location with little damage to the surrounding area, other hot vacation spots are beginning to follow suit. Number 3. It has some of the best wine in the world. Despite the arid and hot climate, vineyards prosper on Santorini. Thanks to the volcanic surroundings, the wine produced on the island is known to have a taste that is unique and not found anywhere else in the world. The actual land on the island is made up of volcanic ash, tiny pieces of solidified sand and lava, and pumice stone. These minerals can't be found in typical soil, which makes it richer. While the wines are popular, they are extremely hard to come by because it doesn't frequently rain on the island. They get moisture from somewhere completely unexpected. Sea fog. That's right, sea fog. The fog is an odd occurrence that it's a result of the air around the active volcano. The moisture is absorbed into the mineral-rich grounds, creating some of the most unique, best-tasting wines in the world. Number 4. The Legend of Atlantis Draws People Closer The story of Atlantis goes back thousands of years, and mostly everyone knows it. 
the lore is that a very wealthy, prosperous, and forward-thinking civilization disappeared without a trace, with their island sunk into the ocean. It remains as one of the oldest myths in history, and it's believed to have been taken by the ocean because of the humans angering the gods. Atlantis was considered a paradise. Now, because of the lore, people often flock to the island in search of the lost city of paradise. They swim and explore the ruins and ancient architecture that rests below the surface of the azure waters. The philosopher Plato describes a circular island with structures that could only be found on the supposed island of Atlantis. Throughout the centuries, excavation has revealed more and more of the curious island's past. It's these stories that draw people in from all over the globe, making it one of the most visited destinations in the world. Number 5. Santorini has some of the most luxurious hotels in Greece. What's a luxury vacation without staying at a luxury hotel? Santorini and her surrounding islands boast a grand total of 1,600 hotels, villas, condos, and hostels. Considering they experience over 2 million tourists in one season, it's important they have places for them to stay. None of these hotels can compare to the Katikis Hotel. Katikis has ranked the number one best hotel in Santorini. So what exactly makes this hotel the best? It could be any one of the infinity pools just outside your room. It could also be the stunning view of the cobalt seas as you wake up in the morning. This luxury hotel comes with the works. Each room is decorated in crisp white linens and boasts of mini bars as well as Nespresso coffee machines. Most of the rooms have private terraces, making it perfect to watch the sun and sip on your coffee. Looking for a place to eat authentic Mediterranean cuisine? Then look no further. The property has several different restaurants to choose from, and after a romantic meal, you can take a stroll down to the spa and have a couple's massage. Whatever you look for in luxury accommodations, you'll have to look no further. However, how much does a luxury hotel like this cost? If you plan a trip to Katiki's Hotel, you better be prepared to pay a cool $1,000 per night. Number 6. Santorini hasn't always been a hot tourist destination. The volcanic eruption isn't the only disaster that Santorini has endured. In 1956, a 7.7 magnitude earthquake was just to the south of the easternmost island. Santorini had significant damages, but that wasn't all that was happening that day. 13 minutes after the first earthquake shook the island, another with a magnitude of 7.2 happened closer to Santorini. As a result, a massive, nearly 100-foot tsunami was unleashed. In the devastation left behind, 53 people lost their life, and 100 were injured, leaving it as the most catastrophic event since the volcanic eruption. Number 7. Santorini has some of the best luxury restaurants in Greece. If you're going to be living the luxurious life while visiting Santorini, it isn't enough to stay at the high-end hotels. You need to find some of the best restaurants money has to offer, and Santorini is just the place for one-of-a-kind dining experiences. Ambrosia Restaurant is the place you're looking for if you want unforgettable Greek cuisine. Perched high above the caldera cliff, this Grecian restaurant offers the best of the best. At Ambrosia, if you're planning on making a visit, it's required to make a reservation no less than two days in advance. From top to bottom, if you're looking for the best place to eat, Ambrosia is the place to be. Number 8. It's not all picturesque. While the cobalt blue waters and the breathtaking sunsets certainly draw people to the island of Santorini, it's most definitely not without its flaws. Santorini has a disturbing amount of trash. The islands of Santorini have no system in place to recycle. With the constant influx of tourists from around the globe, recycling, unfortunately, isn't very high on their list of priorities. Some of the streets are littered with crushed cans, discarded food cartons and wrappers, and plastic bottles. It's believed that people living on Santorini do not care as much about the ecosystem as they do lining their pockets with millions of tourist dollars. Capitalism has led to the current state of the ground on the island. It's becoming a bigger issue due to livestock choking or becoming entangled in the waste carelessly tossed aside. Because of the toxicity of entering the grounds from the refuse, many crops are also struggling to survive. Number 9. There are over 100 different kinds of grapes on the islands. There's just no way to visit this beautiful region without trying some of the one-of-a-kind wines. These wines are unlike any others in the world. There are over 100 varieties of grapes that are native to these beautiful islands. 
The way the grapes grow is also unique. In the average vineyard, the grape vines grow up along the fences and in vines. However, in Santorini, the grapes grow close to the ground in bunches. If you're looking for an expensive bottle of wine to watch the sunset, you might try Estate Agrios Vinsanto. This wine is made from the Assyrtico grape and is aged in a barrel for 20 years. You can try it by the glass or spend $125 on a bottle. Number 10. If you're looking for expensive jewelry, look no further. Like most places that are huge tourist hotspots, Santorini hosts a plethora of shopping opportunities. There are typical gift shops, but then there are higher-end boutiques that have one-of-a-kind items. If you're looking for designer jewelry, then Elias Lalalunas is the designer for you. Each piece is crafted by hand. It's not only the quality of the piece, but the story that goes with it. Grecian history is radiating from each item, weaving a story for the wearer. The jewelry is such a part of Santorini, there's actually a museum dedicated to it. If you like expensive jewelry, check out our top 10 most expensive watches in the world video by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Santorini may be in trouble. This summer has carried the most tourists to the archipelago in history. As of June 2018, a record-breaking 32 million people have landed on the shores of Santorini. It has many people wondering if the islands can handle the rapid influx. It's become the only European destination to reach such heights. While the growth has brought Greece back to its glorious state and out of its economical crisis, the growth is beginning to have damaging effects. The government is beginning to grow concerned if tourism continues to grow at such a rate that the state of the islands could leave behind a detrimental impact. The integrity of the historical aspect, as well as local homes, are in question. Tension is rising between the locals and tourists, leaving many wondering if Santorini might have bitten off more than they could chew when enticing tourism with low-rate accommodations. Number 12. Celebrities have flocked to Santorini since the early 60s. Celebrities love their jet-setting and extravagant getaways. The archipelago surrounding Santorini makes it the key place for celebs to relax, revel in the nightlife, or just sail away on their yacht. Many A-list celebrities choose to rent private yachts that are fully staffed. This allows them to stay out of the direct view of the public, giving them much-needed privacy. The Marvel superhero Scarlett Johansson hires private yachts to island hop. Such yachts cost upwards of $69,000 per week. Another place the elite of Hollywood, such as Pretty Little Liar star Shay Mitchell, prefer to stay is the Cavo Tago Mykonos. The rooms at this luxurious hotel each boast of infinity pools as well as many other delightful pleasures. Cavo Tago entices travelers with sensuous pleasures and the epitome of rest and relaxation. Number 13. The decline of the euro has been a catalyst into interest in buying homes on Santorini. In 2008, Greece fell into an economic downward spiral. Due to the decrease in the euro, the housing market bottomed out and property values dropped. As a result, foreign elite and tycoons began to take notice. From 2011 to 2015, the prices of the housing market fell by 50%. And while the market has since recovered, it's still below average at 35% lower than it was eight years ago. However, despite the drop in the market, Santorini still remains the third most expensive place to purchase real estate in the islands. The selling prices typically dip 15 to 20% below the asking price. And as it turns out, Asians and Americans make it to the top of the list of prospective buyers. Number 14. Santorini has three different colors of beaches. Santorini is one of very few places that have not only powder white sandy beaches, but red and black sand as well. The black beaches of Santorini are a mixture of black sand and tiny black pebbles. As the beach extends into the water, the black pebbles gradually become larger. Red Beach is by far the most popular and famous beach in Santorini. Not only does the beach consist of black and red pebbles, but because of the volcano far beneath the surface, the water is very warm. The massive red wall creates the most beautiful and picturesque scene against the azure blue waters. The beaches get their red and black colors from sediment remaining from the volcanic eruption thousands of years ago. It washes up from the ocean's floor and is deposited on the beach with the tide. Number 15. Santorini crops are some of the finest found in the world. 
the products from Santorini that are on the markets are registered as PDO, Protected Designation of Origin. These products are valued all around the globe due to their one-of-a-kind flavor and quality. Since the ground quality on the island isn't exactly conducive for crops, farmers have adapted and found ways to adjust. A popular method is crossbreeding plants. By crossbreeding plants, they cut back on the requirements they need from the soil. Some of the top quality foods that are shipped around the world are Santorini cherry tomatoes. These tomatoes are high in demand, not just on the Greek market, but across the world. These are amongst one of their older crops on the island, recorded back as far as 1870. Now, Aluxers, that's a wrap on Santorini. But before you go, we're curious. Have you ever tried any wine from Santorini? Let us know in the comments. And for being a true Aluxer and making it all the way to the end of our video, you get a bonus fact. Here it is, number 16. Clothing is sometimes optional at the beach. Not everyone enjoys wearing a swimsuit. Kola Umpos Beach is one of few beaches that do not require visitors to wear a swimsuit. This unorganized beach is off the beaten path on an isolated part of the island. At the end of the beach is a gigantic cave, adding just a little more charm to the peaceful scenery. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.